Hey guys, today we'll be discussing how to burst Necreals. These are not only one of the best monsters you can get as a Slayer task, but also some of the fastest magic experience that won't break the bank. They can provide upwards of 250k magic XP an hour and 70k plus Slayer XP an hour if you have the magic level for Ice Barrage. Necreals have fairly high requirements to burst, they take 80 Slayer to even damage, and to burst you need a bare minimum of 70 magic to cast Ice and Blood Burst. 94 magic unlocks Ice Barrage and will boost your kill speeds by about 25%. You also need to pray melee at all times, so obviously you will need 43 plus prayer. The only things that matter gear-wise for burst tasks are magic damage and prayer bonus. Necreals only have level 1 magic, so they have basically no magic defense. This allows you to wear things like proselyte armor and continue to burst effectively. You want the weapon you bring to be capable of auto-casting ancients, as this becomes extremely intensive otherwise. Your options are an Ancient Staff, Master Wand, or Kodai Wand. You want to bring the best Staff slash Wand you can afford? I personally bring a Kodai, but obviously that's super expensive. Uh, the Ancient Staff actually reduces your prayer bonus by 5, so I would try to bring a Master Wand at the very least. Ancestral Robes provide a massive magic damage bonus if you have them. If not, just wear the best prayer boosting armor you have. If you are bursting off task, Void is also not a bad option. Make sure you bring in a Cult Necklace, as this provides a 10% damage bonus for only around 800k. An Imbued God Cape gives a 2% damage bonus, so make sure you bring that. A Book of Darkness provides a plus 5 prayer bonus, which means I would bring this even over an Arcane Spirit Shield just for the prayer bonus. You also want to bring a Tormented Bracelet or Barrow's Gloves. The Bracelet is a 5% damage bonus. For Boots, you probably want to bring Devout Boots for their plus 5 prayer bonus. I was simply using Mystic Boots in the video. And finally, bring a blessing for the added prayer bonus. As for your inventory, you need the runes to cast Blood and Ice Burst, or Blood and Ice Barrage if you can use those. A rune pouch saves a lot of inventory space if you have one. You need darts to tag the Necreals, as they are not aggressive. I personally bring a Holy Wrench, a gem and herb bag. These aren't usually necessary, but I bring them just in case my ult can't carry everything in his inventory. A Xerix Talisman. I bring gloves to teleport back to Duradel for my next task. And finally, a Sarah Godsword. Now you absolutely don't need the God Sword. I just bring it because I have one and might as well use it. It's a tiny bit of prayer and health restoration. And finally, bring around 10 prayer potions. This method also becomes much easier if you have an alt account. A brand new level 3 account can loot drops for you and run back and forth to the bank as the monsters are not aggressive up to Necreals. An account with level 55 magic that can cast high alchemy can stay there until you finish your task alking drops. If you don't have an ult, your best option is to bring an Explorer's Ring 4, as this can cast high and low alchemy 30 times each. This really only allows you to do one burst task per day if you want to pick up the succulent, succulent loot, so an ult account really helps if you have one. There are two rooms in the catacombs where you can burst Necreals, which are right next to each other. You typically need to hop a couple times to find a free room. Once you do, flick on Protect Melee and tag all the neck reels in the room with your darts and run back and forth on the corner of the room until they are stacked in a giant pile. Then simply auto-cast your best ice spell and watch the magic XP flow in. The death spawn the neck reels released will hit you with typeless damage that maxes a 1, which means your health will slowly drain over time. If you're ever low on HP, simply cast your best blood burst spell and you'll regain 20 to 40 HP immediately. You can also supplement this with a Sarah Godsword to save runes. If you get a Necriarch Superior Spawn, you need to be careful. If these approach you within melee range, they will spawn three different types of Chaotic Spawn that use Magic, Melee, and Ranged. These can max a 7 each and have a very high accuracy, so they will quickly tear through your health. The best approach is to get the Necriarch stuck behind other Necreals and continue to burst it until it dies. If it can't get to your player character, it will never spawn the Chaotic Spawn. If you get unlucky and it manages to get next to you and create some chaotic spawn, simply run a few rooms away until it loses aggro and then continue to burst it like before. Look in here, you can see I'm trading over the loot for my alt account, and you can see I made 1.3 mil from this 30 minute slayer task alone, as well as two totem pieces and a hard clue squirrel, which easily pays for the runes I used for the task. And that's it! These guys are fairly simple to kill and incredibly rewarding. These make it all the more worth pushing for that 80 slayer. If you liked the video, leave a like or subscribe. Thanks, guys.